Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, we are going to be creating a quiz using Android Studio. This tutorial is divided into three parts. Um, part one is going to be looking at the user interface. Part two is going to be looking at the questions. And part three is going to be looking at our logic. Okay, I gave this project a name of multiple choice quiz. I chose API 16 and I chose empty activity and I renamed main activity to quiz activity. Okay, we're gonna need a linear layout to hold this quiz. So change relative layout to linear layout and set the orientation to vertical. Delete the default text view and create a relative layout. This relative layout is going to hold our score and the score counter. I gave the relative layout a bottom margin of 40 dp and padding of 8 dp. We set the text of the first text view to score and we align it to the left of the parent. I also gave it an ID but this was not necessary because this text does not change. For the next text view I set the text to 0 and I set the ID to score. For both of these text views I set the, um, the, the text size to 20 SP. Okay, the next thing that we need is a text view for our question. We can give this text view an ID of question. Uh, we can give it some bottom margin and some padding. Okay, the next thing that we need to add to our um, UI is our buttons. We need three buttons and just make sure that you give your buttons separate button IDs. Now I chose choice one, choice two, and choice three. There's also a quit button but in this tutorial it has not been set up. Okay now let's take a look at our beautiful UI. Right click on the package name to create a new class and let's name this class question library. We're going to need three member variables. Each member variable is going to be an array. The first array is going to be a normal array. The second array is going to be a two dimensional array and the third array is going to be a normal array. The first array is going to hold the questions. The second array is going to hold the choices and the third array is going to hold the correct answers. Okay now because I'm a science teacher I chose questions concerning plants. Okay, now one thing that I should have told you is that a class is basically a blueprint for creating objects and some programmers call objects instances. In order for me to use this question library object, I would have to create it inside of my quiz activity. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is to create some methods that are going to return the questions, the choices, and the correct answers. The first method, getQuestion, is going to return a question from the mQuestions array. The method getChoice1 
is going to return the first item in an array of the m choices two dimensional array get choice 2 would return the second item in an array in the m choices array and get choice 3 is going to return the third item in an m choices two-dimensional array. The last method that we need is a method that returns the correct answer. Okay, now let's go over to quizactivity.java and let's create our question library object and let's make it private now let's create variables to hold our score our question and our buttons and let's make them all private now remember that member variables they take the m prefix so it's going to be m question library and m score view and m button choice one and so on let's create variables for the answer the score and the question number and let's set the score and the question number integers to zero Now let's connect these variables to the views in our XML. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is to create a listener that is going to um, handle clicks when a button has been pressed. The way how this logic works is that if the text from the button is equal to the answer, uh, the score is going to be updated and the questions are also going to be updated as well. Now if the answer is wrong then it's just going to update the questions but it's not going to update the score okay and I would just need to um, write two more methods one method to update the score and the next method to update the questions You'll notice that I used a toast message to toast correct if the user got the answer correct and to toast wrong if the user got the answer wrong. Just copy and paste the button listeners for uh, the second button and the third button and that's it. You're basically done. Okay, just call the update question method inside of your onCreate method. And that's it. You're done. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.